Tina, Tina Brown. Brown Tina hired me. She hired me and David in the same month, October 92. So it's been more than 30 years. And so it's been, you know, it's evolved. Uh, and I'm glad that uh, David became the editor because after 9-11, he was the right editor for The New Yorker for, for sure. Because he had a news sense that was absolutely critical to covering the most important story of the moment. And, you know, when I first moved there, went to New Yorker, uh, it was in one of their older offices. You know, now they've gone through several. And uh, it was not owned by Condé Nast yet. It was, it was uh, independent. And it had a, a frumpiness that I found charming. And a lot of the old writers were there, you know, Brendan Gill and Andy Logan and people like that. that uh, that I'd been reading since I was a child. And I thought, I'll grow old here. And I have, you know. Uh, so in a way, I fulfilled my ambition. Um, it's, it's been, it's gone through a number of transitions. Um, I would say that, you know, the, the New Yorker staff has turned over considerably since I've been there, and uh, there are a lot of young writers, many of whom I don't know, but I like. I think they're fine, excellent writers. Um, I don't know what's going to happen to the New Yorker in the future, uh, or magazine journalism in general. I thought it would all be digital, and it's surprising to me that we still have hard copies of newspapers, books, and magazines. But, and I cherish that. I. I'm glad I was a part of the generation where, um, you know, we, we had uh, high standards. Uh, there was a sense of being, um, it's not always true, but, you know, it was more neutral in terms of partisanship. Um, I think, if anything, New York has become far more progressive in its orientation. Um, and. That's not always a good thing. Uh, you know, I think being able to rudder against the wind is important. So sometimes I think we need to be able to do that more freely than we did. We're less preoccupied with celebrity than we were when Tina was in charge. And, um, and that was fun. And she threw the most amazing parties. But that doesn't happen anymore. <laughs> you know, economic changes have affected the New Yorker. Um, there was a period of time when, you know, my editor couldn't afford to, because of the expenses, to take me to lunch. Um, and, you know, we're past that now. But, uh, you know, it's weathered uh, a lot of challenges. And, and it's still there and still wonderful.